I exercised all my life and I swam and I bicycled with a group um, up until about a year before I had the heart attack and I was having trouble breathing and trouble getting up the hills and keeping up with the group that I was riding with and um, couldn't imagine what was going on and the next morning I just could not get up and I had these terrible pains in my chest and trouble breathing. And that's when my daughter Cindy came looking for me because I didn't answer my phone. I was on the couch without my phone. I don't want to think about what would have happened if I hadn't shown up at that moment. So I called 911. Thankfully, the paramedics got there very quickly and diagnosed that she was having a heart attack. This was, to me, out of the blue. To her, not so much. Heart disease does run in her family. We got in the ambulance and she got to the hospital. They were able to diagnose this heart attack and turned out that she needed stents in her heart. She did not need open heart surgery or a bypass. I was prepared for the worst because of everything I'd been through with my husband's heart issues, but they were able to very quickly get in with the intervention. I have had the pleasure of taking care of Fern since she came in to us here at UCSD in January of 2018. Um, at which time she needed a pacemaker. So she presented feeling dizzy and lightheaded and had a seven second pause, meaning her heart stopped for seven seconds. So at that time we implanted um, a leadless pacemaker, which is a very new technology available to patients that we are using here at UCSD very successfully. And I'm very pleased to see that Fern is doing so well. At the time that we were waiting for the pacemaker to be installed was when I had just agreed to become the chair of the Go Red for Women campaign with the American Heart Association. And it, the event to light up in Hospital Red was happening and I was already planning to be at the event. And just the irony of it was, my mother was literally in the ICU of the hospital that we were lighting red at that moment waiting to get her pacemaker and she had just experienced a pause in her heart. We weren't sure where things were going to go, if she was going to have another pause, but I knew when we lit that building red, my mom was in that hospital in good hands with the best doctors and nurses and care team that the world has to offer. So UC San Diego Health Cardiovascular Institute is the sponsor of the Go Red for Women campaign in San Diego, so it's really appropriate for us to kick off the month uh, of heart month of February to light our building red first. Obviously it's important that we treat our patients with heart health, but as a hospital we have an obligation to the community as well to help educate them about women's heart disease. And so lighting the building red really kind of helps draw attention uh, to the mission and to the message of the Go Red for Women campaign. I think that the Go Red for Women is such an important initiative. And I was thinking about why is it important to me to go red? I go red for my mother, I go red for my sister, I go red for my daughter, I go red for my patients, and I go red for UCSD because we need to partner with organizations like this to reach out in the community and take care of all our patients. I see the patients, I see how sick they are, I see the people that are waiting for heart transplants, who just had heart transplants, patients on ECMO, people that we fly in on the helicopter who are so sick um, from outlying communities. And so that's why I go red, not only for, for my family, but also for our patients and for our staff too, because they're so invested in caring for people's heart health and they do such an amazing job every day of taking care of our patients. So that's really inspiring for me. I think that the information that we're given uh, through the Heart Association and through uh, the hospital, I think is helpful to keep us um, healthy and keep us going, especially after you have a heart attack. I'm very proud to say that Cindy's my daughter and um, we have a you know, very special relationship. And I think that she, the fact she's taken on this chairmanship, um, I'm very proud that she decided to do that because it's a topic subject that's very important to both her and to me. I just love this event because we can spread the message to the whole city as we kick off Heart Health Month in February. Let's light this whole city red. We're going to start with this building today and we're going to light up the city and we're going to help teach everybody the importance of heart health and I'm so proud to be part of this Go Red movement. Mm -hmm.